Hi, Catherine. Hi, Lab. I'm a little bit sicky, so I sound funny. I've been um, off work all week, and I already booked tomorrow off. Um, and I haven't got much crocheted this week, so um, the, it's pretty probable, probable, it's very possible that I will be canceling my market on Saturday. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to have any footage for you this week, so I thought I would go live so I could have some content go up on my YouTube this week. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not even going to try to pronounce your name because I will butcher it and I don't want to do that so I ordered some gumdrop yarn from Premier um, a couple weeks ago and I already caked it into different colors and this color is popsicle so it has blue orange and this pretty purple so I already separated the colors and cake those <clears throat> um, and I needed to work on something pretty mindless. <coughs> something that I already know the pattern. Hi, Cohen. Um, so I'm just going to work on these little octopuses. And I'm just going to make the bodies. And I will stuff and sew them closed later. So that's what I thought I would jump on and do tonight. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi, Ellie. Never coughed at all today. <coughs> but as soon as I get on live, I'm going to have a coughing fit. And if it ends up being too bad, I'll have to... Um, I'll just have to cut the short, the live short. <coughs> I think it's because I had one of those um, sepa call lozenges and it's numbed my throat and now it's making me all raspy. Ah. Okay, so what color do I want to start with first? Let's do orange. Hi, Monique. How are you? Hi, 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 Nada. Am I saying that right? So yeah, I needed a pattern that I already know. <laughs> But I'll try to keep. Hi, Robin. <coughs> I have to keep the liquids to me, I guess. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't sound very good, do I? <laughs> But like I've been, so I had my market on Sunday and that went well. Like I felt, I felt great. And then Sunday night I started feeling a little, um, just achy, nothing else, just achy. And then Monday I didn't feel good at all. Like 
I worked at 10, I called in 7 o'clock that I wasn't coming in. And uh, I haven't felt good since, so. I haven't worked since last week. Um, and I already called off tomorrow. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah. I was already in contact with the um, market coordinator that's running the market that I'm signed up for Saturday. And she's like, give it till Friday and let me know by Friday if you're going to do Saturday or not. So I'll give it a couple more days, but it's not looking good. <laughs> so it's not worth it. It's not worth it. No, I don't have any panic attacks. I'm just caught a cold. Thank you, Cohen. Yeah, so I'm just going to work on some little octopuses. Um, I did get a little bit crocheted on I didn't crochet Sunday at all because I had my market. I don't normally crochet on market days. Nope, I'm not wheezing. I just got a sore throat. Um, I'm congested. And I had, I, I had really bad headache on Monday, a slight headache on Tuesday. I don't have a headache today, but today it's just I'm congested, so. Um, but like I'm famous for sinus infections, I got allergies, um, so yeah. And it's been a long time since I've been sick, so I can't really complain. I've had it pretty good, especially where I work in a grocery store. Like I'm around people all the time, like sick people all the time. And I don't think I caught anything at the market. Um, I think I caught this probably at work. Yeah, I've been doing neocitrin and I've been adding um, ginger honey to it. And I find that has really helped me. Um, do I really sound that bad? <laughs> uh. I guess I'll know when I watch the replay later. Uh, yeah, so. But like today I was, you know, I've been cooped up in the house since, since I got back from my market and, uh, and I just, I haven't felt like crocheting. Like I, I feel like crocheting, but the problem is I don't know what I want to make. Hi, Chris. Um, so, um, if you watched my last video, I pattern tested for Robin, who is um, nodding hook crochet. She's my MOD tonight. Hi, uh, Nicole. Um, I pattern tested her axolotls. So, that's really the only thing I've been making this week is axolotls. And her pattern is really good. You should go check it out. Um, um, I tried a free pattern on Instagram. I made one. I didn't really dig it. I'm like, well, I'll give it a try. I made another one. It turned out a little better, but... Yeah, I'm probably only going to make the two, and that'll be it. <laughs> <clears throat> I shouldn't have had that lozenge because now my throat is like <coughs> right itchy now because it's got numbing, a numbing agent in it. And that was my husband's idea to have that before I went live. So it's all his fault. I'll just keep the liquid, keep drinking the liquid. 
So I might not go the full hour. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I, I need to rest more. I, I, I've been resting like for the last three days. I haven't gone anywhere. I can't rest any more than that. I've been a good girl. I've been a good girl. I promise. Like, like I feel like I can crochet a little bit, chat with you guys. But as far as going to work and dealing with people and strangers, like I, I can't deal with that. <laughs> no. <clears throat> I can't do people in person. No. <laughs> nope. I just watched um, Sue's video before I came on and her dragon turned out awesome. All right, uh, Robin, you can kick, you can kick him out. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> oh, every week. Got to have at least one every week. Thanks. Yeah. Why do I think Heather's version of resting is the same as Robin's version of didn't do much? <laughs> <clears throat> I know she always says that she didn't get much done, but then she shows all the stuff she made. <laughs> I really didn't get much made this week. I got five axolotls done and two little dinosaurs and three little octopuses. <laughs> um, but if I don't do the market this Sunday, I don't think I have enough crochet to put up a video this week. Um, but I do have my, I do have my footage of um, the custom eyes that I made for my koala bear. So I will get that up this week. No, we don't do shutouts. Sorry. Um, yeah, so I will get that video up. It's already made and uploaded. I just got to um, do the description um, and add a thumbnail. Um, so, uh, yeah, Crafty Sue 519 on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to see what, um, Shannon does next because if that was her first pattern like that's pretty amazing I think I don't do shadows I just don't um, this is a channel where we just talk about crochet um, you're welcome to join and I don't know I just think you come in and ask for show notes it's just I don't know. I don't like it. That's just me and my opinion. Okay. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Hello, Olivia. I usually address people when they come in, but when you come in, like asking for it, I don't know, I just don't like it. Let's 
So what is everybody working on? Hi, Mary. There's my other moderator. These are so quick and easy. Um, these are all from Jade. So you can go on her YouTube channel and it's baby octopus number three. You're working on little turtles. Frog keychains. Lab is working on turtles. <clears throat> and the reason why I'm not, um, that I'm not stuffing and closing these off is because it's really hard to, um, I gotta close in the back loops and this yarn's kind of a little fuzzy, so it's hard to see your stitches. <clears throat> so I'm just going to make the bodies, and I will I'll stuff and close them off later. So cute. And I haven't had any hockey to watch lately. I might watch a movie later. I might just veg out and watch a movie. So this is my first time using the um, gumdrop yarn from Premier, but it kind of reminds me of Michael's Sweet Snuggles Light. Um, so I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook with this yarn. And I like it. I like it a lot. Because I, I do like the Michael Sherrod. And this sheds just as bad as the Michael Sherrod. It sheds just as bad as the Parfait Chunky. So, and I'm used to that, so. Oh, I've been watching hockey since I was like 14. Yeah. Love my hockey. So I have two more um, different colors of the gumdrop. So I'll probably do the same thing as I did with this one. I will cake the colors individually because there's quite a bit of yarn between each color change. So it's like an ombre effect, which I don't think is good for like amigurumi so much. But I think it's good for small critters. So I decided to cake the colors separately. Oh, I can do sports in person or on TV. Doesn't, doesn't matter to me each way. I can do both. I was actually surprised. The first time I went to um, an NHL game live, 
<clears throat> I couldn't believe how slow the game looked in person. It looks a lot faster on television. And that probably is just the way the camera follows the, the players on the ice. But in person, it's a lot slower. So. So I would say hockey is more exciting to watch on TV than in person, but I enjoyed watching it live too. I have more than enough stock for my next market. I have four large bins full of stuff that I take to my markets and I probably have three bins of overstock. Um, but I am gonna do a lot of markets this year so I'm just gonna keep pumping the stuff out. Cause I don't want to, I don't wanna get behind at all. Okay. There's my first, my first octopus body. Any cute. And I just throw these in my $5 bin. Kids love them. <clears throat> Kids love them. All right, so that's all I have left over from that cake, but I'll use it for scraps. So let's do, let's do a blue one next. Yeah, I was looking at patterns online today on Etsy. I just had to count for a second. <laughs> um, and there were some patterns that I wanted to buy, but I was not paying those p prices for patterns. Like some people charge way too much, I think. And they weren't even elaborate, like designs. It was, it's just crazy. So, yeah. I mean, I can wait for them to go on sale, but I'm like, nope. I don't need it that bad. They were really cute though, but nope. I mean, I could probably make up my own pattern if I really wanted to. Um, but I, I don't really want to do that either, so. Oh, it's crazy. Well, I showed you that pattern today, Robin. Well, and like you, you know, Jackie, like we're in Canada, so we have to pay the exchange rate. So what somebody in the States might get a pattern for what? Seven dollars. Like we're paying nine something. Ah, do it. Go test for me. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever get to the point where I'm making my own patterns. I don't know. Not for a while. I had fun just, you know, making everybody else's pattern. I'm good. I'm good with that. You have problems trying to decide what color to make? Um, like 
the only time I really struggled with color choices was when I was making that um, that dragon. Um, but my husband wanted me to make a black one, so I made a black one, and then the other one I just made in my favorite colors. But uh, I normally don't struggle with colors. I think, um, see, I would like to make more octopuses, like all from Jade, but I haven't sold any, so I don't want to make any more because I have like three already, but I want to do some rainbow, um, some rainbow critters. Well, what kind of crafts do you do, Michelle? My dog likes to eat it too. I caught him the other day eating yard off my floor. So now I have to vacuum more. Thanks a lot, Milo. Little shit. Yeah, yeah, I caught him the other day licking. And I thought maybe I dropped food or something. Nope. He was eating the yard. Like, I've made all different types of crafts, like, um, Crochet dishcloths, uh, crochet critters. I used to do the polymer clay earrings for a while. After a year, I got really sick of that. Everybody was doing it, so I stopped, and then I kind of switched to the plushies, and now everybody's doing the plushies, so. Can I make Stitch? I don't have a pattern for him. And then they don't look good unless you have the felt eyes. I used to do cross stitch a long time ago. I tried uh, rock painting too. And I did one rock and then I was done with that. <laughs> yeah, I was done with that. <laughs> I get bored very easily. So the fact that I've been like doing Ambi Groovy for three years, that's good for me. <laughs> <clears throat> that's good for me. Yep, pricing is crazy. Like I actually um, spent one day combing the beach and I found all these like perfectly round, big shaped rocks, brought them home, cleaned them all, uh, painted them all black, got them all prepped painted one rock, like, you know, like the little dot, like the Mandela painting. It turned out really good. Um, I should actually go grab it. I think it's just in my utility room. Just hold on one sec. Like I did a dragonfly, but this took me so long, so long to do. Um, 
I still have to like shellac it and then I will put it in my garden. I'll put it in my garden this year, but that's my one painted rock that I did and I gave up on. <laughs> it just took me forever. And some people would find that relaxing. I found it like very stressful. <laughs> um, yeah, so rock painting is not for me. <laughs> But those would make nice gifts and I think those would sell really well at the markets that's a boulder I know <laughs> yeah yeah I have like probably 10 rocks prepped and ready to go <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah yep I have no idea what the next fad's going to be. I have no idea. What do you think? Anybody have an idea what the next fad will be? I think that um, needle punching is starting to get pretty popular. Yeah, needle punching, you know? I think it's on a canvas or something. But I have no clue. No clue. Yeah, imagine how much that rock would cost to ship. <laughs> Crazy. There's quite a few people, I think, that I've seen on um, <clears throat> Facebook doing the rock painting. And I think it sells pretty well. Um, it would sell well if you could do, like, scenery, you know, like, if you could paint. I'm only talented enough to do dots. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll shellac it and give it to my grandmother. She can put it in her, her garden. Because I don't have a green thumb. Oh my gosh, my lighting down here is so bad. I was hoping that ring light would make make a difference, but don't do know. Hi Jennifer. So I haven't applied to many pattern tests this week. Well, obviously I'm not feeling great, so I figured if I applied, that would be the time I would get picked for it. <laughs> Maybe I'll just take a break from applying for a week.
So are you going to make another dragon, Robin, or are you just going to wait for that one to sell before you make another one? I think you should make a black glittered dragon. <laughs> I challenge you. <laughs> $175 for five hours? Yeah, I wouldn't sign up for that. You're in Ontario, though. You probably get a lot more people at your markets than I do at mine. No, on the black. Why not? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I might have to buy that pattern though, when I'm feeling better, of course. Okay, I gotta make sure he's got eight legs. <laughs> Can't see that good. There's body number two. I do like this yarn. It's kind of like blue and white variegated, orange and white variegated, and then like a lilac white variegated. So I'm just working on solid octopuses right now, but once I go back upstairs, I'll probably do like his um, his legs a different color than his body and do some like two-tone ones because I think they look really cute. No, I can't send you a crocheted animal, Jennifer. No. Nope. For one, shipping is outrageous. <clears throat> and um, I only sell at my local markets I don't I don't sell online so you would be best to go on Facebook and look up crochet in your area and get somebody that who lives close to you to make you something. Thank you. I did not get an Easter basket for my display because um, I had my market Sunday and I started not feeling good Sunday night and I haven't been out of my house since I got home from my market. And I don't know that I'm gonna make my market this weekend because if I'm not feeling better, I ain't going. So I will make that call on Friday. I've crocheted lots of bunnies Lots of bunnies. Probably too many bunnies. <laughs> okay, I gotta count just a second here. I don't want him to turn into a mutant. <laughs> I actually have a little bunny. Oh, you probably can't see it on there, but there's a little bunny next to my 
wall bunny. It's just he looks really small on on there, but. I have not crocheted a doll, and I probably never will. <laughs> I've seen, um, I think it's Crochet Wonder has come out with a mermaid pattern. It's super, super cute, but it looks really tedious, and I don't like tedious stuff. Not for me. And I think like the hair, I think it's the hair that probably would turn me off from doing something like that. Oh, you're in Florida, Mary? Okay, I'm getting you mixed up with, who's in Ontario? Is it you, Catherine? I know there's somebody from Ontario in here. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Bella. I have crocheted a few bags. Um, they were just like a little crossbody beach bag. And they didn't sell very well. So I only made like six. And I think I still have two of those over at Lisa's. Um, I should go over and mark them down just to get rid of them. Um, but I think the bags are a lot of work. And you'll never get out of it what you put into it. Um, and I really just like the plushies. I enjoy the plushies, so um, that's what I'm concentrating on right now. You had to frog your turtle, <laughs> Robin. I have not crocheted a pillow, no. Um, I have not. I have seen um, like that sunflower pillow, I think. Um, is that Wonder Crochet too? I think that that's her pattern. Um, but I would find that monotonous because you got to make like 12 petals. I just, I think I would find that boring. And again, you'd have to charge a lot for it because it would take a long time to do. So. Yeah, whales are good. Octos are good. Um. Um, like you'll see on my channel, I do those, um, I do those mini birds a lot. They're, they're good sellers for me. I actually, when I started crocheting, that's all I made was blankets. I made everybody a blanket for Christmas one year. But... I don't think I could sit down and do a blanket now after doing the critters for so long. Yeah, my um my eight to ten dollar bin is overflowing. Oh yeah, 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 Grady Squares. Grady Squares are good if you're just starting out. I would recommend if you're just starting out with crochet, Grady Squares would be the way to go. No, I've never done a rose. I tried, a, I tried, I tried a tulip once and I couldn't get the the yarn wire wrap like wrapped around the wire like I just I watched tutorials on it um I went out and bought the floral wire and everything no it wasn't for me um wasn't for me nope 
I don't have no patience. Like if I can't get something like the first time, I, I just move on. I move on to something else. Yeah. Yeah, washcloths are great for beginners. Um, see, I find when you're starting out tension. Tension is, um, if your tension's off, it's going to look wonky. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like I've got to, I got to make some more zipper pouches too because they sell pretty good. Um, and kids like kids like certain like fabric choices, you know. So and they're actually pretty quick and easy to make. I just haven't felt like doing much this week. Hopefully I start feeling better soon. My husband's like, you need to start feeling better because you're cranky. <laughs> can't help it I don't get I mean I do get not that I get sick a lot but like I said I get sinus infections all the time um, but this oh, I don't know I don't feel like this too often and for me to call in sick to work you know I'm not feeling good I have crocheted dogs before. Um, it's been a while since I did a dog. Um, I'll have to see if I still have that dog pattern. I think it was just a free pattern that I found online. And I don't think I saved it, but I could probably find it again. Crochet Grove has um, cute dog patterns. Her stuff is really cute. And her patterns are easy to follow. Like I find when you do, when you do patterns with color changes and the color changes are highlighted in a different color, I find that so much easier to read and to follow than, you know, say the whole pattern is written in black and then the color changes are just in bold black. I, I prefer to have that a different color like for me that's a lot easier hi Teresa you've one of those mechanical knitting things oh for like hats and stuff yeah I've seen a few people uh, use those yeah the last time I made a blanket was when my sister had her baby hello Leslie yeah
And she's going to be seven this year. Time's going by so quickly. Okay, one more leg. What have I crocheted that I love? Um, my favorite thing to crochet, and I haven't done one in a couple weeks just because I have a lot of stock right now, is um, all from Jade's Turtles. There's Octo number three. And sometimes her patterns can be a little complicated but she has video tutorials for the tricky bits, so I like her patterns. Uh, she shows you all the different um, yarns, what hook size to use, what size eyes to use. Um, I can't say enough good things about it all from Jade. I will before my market, Mary. Absolutely, I will. Yeah, I haven't yet. But I will, because I'm not taking that chance. <laughs> <clears throat> I have not crocheted a ladybug. All right, um, let's make one more, and then I'll probably call it a night. I've been on for 53 minutes already. What else do I like to crochet? Um, I really enjoyed Robin's axolotls. <laughs> That's the only thing I felt like crocheting this week. Like I find they're a good size, they're not too small, they're not too big. Um, and the first time I had them at a market, I sold one. No, I probably won't do a Stitch and Lilo, no. I try to stay away from the licensed items because they're copyright. And I find those characters, they look better with the felt eyes, and I'm not a felt eye person. I mean, I have eyes, I should use them up, but... Oh, <coughs> oh excuse me. <coughs> I need another drink. Yeah, I eat no more of those lozenges. Because now I got this darn tickle in my throat and it won't go away. crocheting for about almost 20 years almost 20 years but I've only been doing um, the critters for about three years and the plushies about 
mm, eight months maybe something like that I have not crocheted a water bottle holder. No. No. Probably a good idea though, but nope. Yeah, so I was scrolling Etsy for some new patterns. I couldn't find nothing that piqued my interest. I hate it when you when you in the mood to do something new, but you can't just you can't find that pattern that draws you in. I have not crocheted a book holder, nope. Hello, DGQ. Um, nope. I think all from Jade's supposed to come out with something new fairly soon too but I don't know what it is yeah you could yeah absolutely Robin yeah because I have a feeling we're gonna be playing this game all night <laughs> And after this body, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a night. Yeah. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me when I'm not feeling good. I was kind of feeling a little depressed today. So I didn't know if I was gonna come on or not. And then Dave's like, why not? I'm like, because I probably sound horrible. But I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. I feel better. I, I'm still feeling crappy, but I feel better. Like, mentally. And like if I miss my market and I don't get my refund, like it is what it is. But she did say that she had um, other crocheters as backup, so which is good because I'm I know my spot will be filled if I if I don't go. <clears throat> which at this point I don't think I will be. Thank you. Yeah, my buddy, that's my mascot. He's in my um, YouTube channel banner.
I think he's pretty cool. Oh, well, I feel better soon. It'll just take some time, that's all. I'm getting old. I don't bounce back like I used to. <laughs> I took um, I took some NyQuil before I went to bed last night, and that really helped me sleep good. I slept pretty good last night, so that's good. And I was probably just tired. <laughs> I think I'll go up and I'll finish off these octos and I think I'll just put a movie on and uh, I will take it easy. One more leg. So, yeah. So, I, I don't know if I'll have a video this Sunday. Um, I just don't think I'll have enough crocheted to make a video. So if I don't, I'll save what I made this week and add it to next week's video. So there's another body. So they're really quick and easy. I got what, four done? Yeah, I got four done. So one, two, three I got four little bodies done and I've been on for an hour and four minutes I charge five bucks a piece for these so this is good money so all from Jade YouTube channel baby octopus number three is the pattern that's where you make your money right there <clears throat> that's where you make your money okay that up oops okay so I'm gonna take off thank you everybody for coming and listening to this raspy voice for an hour thank you Mary thank you Robin for being my MODs uh, I really appreciate it and if I don't see you Sunday, I'll upload that video tomorrow for the eyes. And if I don't see you Sunday, I'll see you next week. Next Wednesday night. Same time, same place. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great night. Thank you. We'll see you later. I'll be chatting with you later, Robin. <laughs>